Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So this question is related to shear stress in moving fluids. So here we have a, a conical body rotates at a constant angular velocity omega in a container as shown in the figure. And the spacing between the cone and the container is equal to h and the space is filled with an oil which has viscosity mu. So we are asked to determine a formula for the torque T as a function of the radius R, this is the radius, and the length L, spacing H, and the rate of rotation omega given in radian per second, and then the viscosity of the oil which fills the gap between the cone and the container mu which is required to rotate the cone so here if you view is in uh, three dimensions so we have a cone with a an axis of rotations here and it is actually rotating at omega radian per second so in order to determine the the torque torque is always equal to force multiplied by the arms radius the arm radius is actually the distance between the points and the axis of rotations so here, if we consider an elemental ring here, if we take any point here, it will be rotating the velocity that is actually equal to V, which is actually equal to omega R. Well, where R is the radius between here and the axis of rotations. So in order to calculate the torque, the torque, the torque will be equal to force multiplied by the radius and the force will depend on the shear stress at that particular point and the shear stress is, is equal to mu multiplied by the velocity gradients within the fluids. So we need to determine the torque on this elemental ring. So if we draw the elemental ring here, this is the axis. So the radius here is R and let's say, let's call the angle here theta. And the, the part of the surface of the cone there we call that one dl because this is l so we call this one dl so in order to calculate the, the torque on the whole surface the first things that we need to do is to calculate the torque on this small element Let's call this one D torque. So D And we know that the shear stress is equal to mu multiplied by 
dv by let's call their spacing dt so he, if I consider what's happening here and I draw the velocity gradient so the point which is in contact with the container will have zero velocity whereas the one which is in touch with the cone will have velocity v and v is actually equal to omega r so this is actually equal to mu v over the thickness is t because this gives, gives us the velocity gradient here and this is actually equal to mu omega r over h let's call that one equation 3 and we also know that the area of this, if you open this up, the, the length of this is equal to 2 pi r, and this is dl. So dA is equal to 2 pi r dl. That's question number four. So then if we substitute so we have the torque is equal to tau and tau is mu omega r over h multiplied by a is 2 pi r dl that's give us df then we need to we need to multiply that by this r so that gives us 2 pi mu omega R cube of a H D L. Okay. But if you consider now the because we have here in terms of D L, you want to change that in terms of D R because these variables here the the parameter which is varying is actually R on this cone so if you consider if we draw this this is my theta this is big R this is L and this is will be my R and from here to here is L so I can write the equations that uh, the relationship between R and L is basically R is equal to L sine theta so if I want to get L L is R over sine theta and hence if I differentiate that then I have dl is dr over sine theta but from here I know that sine theta is equal to r over l big r over big l so this gives me dl equal to l over r dr so now I can substitute it back here then I have dt is equal to 2 pi mu omega over h then I have dl where dl is l over r dr 
so L over R R cube now is in terms of dr. So in order to calculate the torque on the whole of the cone, so I need to integrate so that we cover the whole of the body. So we have to start with from r equal to 0 here to r equal to big R. So it's 2 pi mu omega over h L over R R cube dr from 0 to big R. So if I integrate R cube, so I have 2 pi mu omega over h L over R. So here I have R to the power of 4 over 4 and it's from 0 to big R. So that gives me 2 pi mu omega over h L over R R to the power of 4 over 4 and the final answer is T is equal to so this is a little bit so I have pi mu omega L R cube over to H.